All right, you guys, I'm gonna start a part four build video. The F-117, when we left off, I was getting ready to install these little spreader pieces I got. These are gonna go in the back of the exhaust here. like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot glue down in here. This is that line that we scored. Let's go ahead and hot glue this. Stick these in here just to set it in place where it needs to be. Go ahead and let that set up for a second. Thinking, guys, that you know, I got these carbon fiber rods that I got. I'm not even sure I'm going to need them with this jet. This Elmer's foam board is some pretty durable stuff. And I don't think this jet's going to flex much. But I might go ahead and install them. I'm not sure yet. When I do the flight video, I'll just go ahead and show you as if I went ahead and installed them or not. But as it stands right now, I think I can just go ahead and do without them. Alright, we're going to be working on uh, installing our tail fins here. vertical stabilizer fins during the intermission there I had already went ahead and finished up doing some of the hot gluing I just did really nice little beads wherever I thought I needed it I mean I just made it really thin little beads that way I could clear tape over it without making no big bubbles in there so then I went ahead and clear taped over all those score lines that we made where we folded our pieces and I also took and marked out took my ruler and I had to make a hatch on here and you guys can make your hatch whatever size you want it'll be your preference I took and Trace some lines down the sides. Came around here to the front. Made some lines all the way around the front. Took my, I actually took my X-Acto knife and I cut in on those lines at a 45 degree angle down all the way around. Then I 45'd toward the front. That way I went ahead and made my hatch already. And like I said, you guys can make yours a little bigger if you want. But as you can see, they're all just 45 degree angle cuts. That way your hatch just shuts real nice and won't fall through. And I just went ahead and ran a piece of clear tape over here. Most likely I won't even use a, a magnet or anything on this. Usually just the wind coming up over it keeps them shut. I also went ahead and installed my uh, control horns. As you can see. And again, I just made sure my control horn was lined up right over the uh, hinge line. You always just want to make sure they're perfectly centered over your hinge line and I went and hot glued it from the top also hot glued it on the bottom here and I always push my control horns up through the bottom all right so let's go ahead and install these spreaders in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them on the top and bottom. I'm going to slide it in here sideways. 
and then I'll end up just turning it up into the place into its place anyway let's go ahead and do that I'm just gonna eyeball them out there ain't really no particular spot you gotta put these go ahead and get a good bead on there and again I'm just gonna slide it in here go ahead and turn it into place Getting access glue, just wipe it off. Make sure you get it in there nice and straight. Again, I moved it over far enough to keep it out of the way of the uh, the exhaust coming out of the thrust tube. install this other one. What I'm going to do here is so I can even these out real nice. I'm just going to kind of mark it. Set that one in there where it belongs. Just mark it with a pen so I can put it right in the same spot. Just like so. Sometimes a little tricky getting them in there, but I want to make sure I'll be able to get it in there nice and straight. All right, let's go ahead and hot glue this one. Don't be afraid to use some hot glue on these babies because they're really going to be holding your tail fins nice and steady in the back so again I'll just slide it in here find my mark wipe off any access look down the pipe here make sure it's nice and straight and again I just call these the exhaust spreaders I went ahead and trimmed them down. I'll go ahead on the plans and just mark on there so you ain't got to trim them down. I'll just mark on the plans the right size. So once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get a little bead of hot glue around the sides of them here. Just to make sure these are in real nice. One side. Excess glue, just go ahead and pull it out of there. Alright, let's go ahead and install these tail fins. Like I said, guys, you guys can just put this clear tape pretty much wherever you glued your pieces on and wherever you had those score lines. And for the front here, where I had uh, these score lines, I just used a uh, I just went ahead and CA glued up each one instead of using hot glue. Just went ahead and used the CA glue all the way up them. Then just clear taped it. I just do it this way so I ain't got to cut 45 degree angles out from the back side. I mean, if you guys want, when you get the plans, you guys can cut 45 degree angles from the inside if you want so you won't see this but when I clear tape it it always looks good to me all right so now I'm gonna get ready to install these tail fins what I'm gonna do is line up this ruler I want to line up the ruler with the top of the canopy right in the center and come back here to the back, center it, 
I'm gonna go ahead and mark a line. Just like that. So now there's a line there and I'll know right where to put these. And we cut the bottoms of these at 35 degree angles. So they should sit on there pretty much pretty much at that angle alright now don't be afraid to put some hot glue on these pieces neither you want your tail fins to be on there nice and tight just like so line it up on the back Push it in its place. I'm just gonna hold it there till it sets. So there's one. Let's knock this other one out. Again, put a lot of hot glue on these guys. I'll just butt it up next to this other one. Seat around there. Make sure you guys get them even. So I'll go ahead and set it on there for a second. Pick it up, make sure it looks even. pretty good to me so there we got our tail fins installed now I'm gonna go back and run a bead of glue down both sides of the tail fins you know, I gotta change out this uh, glue stick let's go ahead and put a nice bead down both sides of these definitely don't want these coming off in flight like that put a nice bead down it any of the hot glue and I do I always make sure to get on both both pieces so here I got it on the top of the fuselage I also got it connecting to the tail fin so it's almost like you did a nice weld let's go ahead and hit this other side Alright guys, it's turning out sweet. I know you guys probably seen the video I had, the test model I was flying, and it sure is fast. It's a lot of fun to fly. Alright, before I go installing any of my electronics, which is fairly simple guys I mean I probably won't even install them in this video but again these are the same servos and the same control rods I use on the rest of my jets they're gonna install about 
just like so. I'll end up cutting some slots in the side of the air intakes to feed my lines through. I'll end up showing you that in the flight video once I install all these electronics. I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to install electronics on these jets. Especially if you're getting the plans. I'll so we'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I'm learning too. It don't take much tape to hold these uh, elevons on. I just went ahead with some one layer of scotch tape right across the top. And on the bottom I use three little strips. Just like so. I mean I've never had one come off. Here you can see I already installed my velcro down inside here for my my battery. And here we got our. Uh, now you're going to hook all this up, but I'll just throw it in here just to show you. Here we got our removable EDF unit, speed controller. I already got Velcro on it. So it just simply velcros down in there. Done. Your battery. And of course my receiver will go in here. I'll just put a piece of velcro off to the side over here and put my receiver in. Again, that's the removable EDF unit. Let's go ahead and slap some paint on here. I wanted to show you guys. Let's pull this out of here. Again, when you guys go to install your zip ties, you'll just feed them in through down here. Just grab your zip tie bend it around, feed it up through the holes, all four of them, stick your EDF unit down on there, and then zip tie it down. It's really simple. And I made it enough room in there so you can get in there and get your zip ties through the holes. I sure like the way this jet turned out, you guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little clean up here and Get ready to shoot a little bit of paint on this for you. Here I got my paint. This is just some uh, testers. Get it at your local hobby store. Flat black. shake make sure it's good to go, go ahead and clean up my jet some another thing I do you guys is for all my edges on my jets I always take the CA glue and I'll take a run and beat a CA glue down them and then just run across it with my finger that makes these edges real nice and stiff and I was even thinking I might just go ahead and install these carbon fiber rods right down these edges. Just like so. And I might do that. Might not. But when I do the flight videos, I'll point out what else I've done. And I'm not even going to use no uh, clear tape on the wings or anything. Like I said, this thing is really stiff and sturdy. I can't imagine it flexing. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick top coat on this. I 
as you can see it's already where you where I put all my clear tape you can see it covers real nice any of those cracks that were there Do a quick light coat. It's kind of my favorite part of building these jets is painting them. Again, it don't take a lot of paint for these. Because the foam board's already black too, so that helps. I'm just going to hurt and shoot a coat on the top here. Let that dry up for a second. If I run out of time here, guys, then we pretty much completed the cutting and assembly of the plans. And as this paint dries, you see it turns out really nice. I kind of like the look of the tape on there. dry up for a second. So see you can see where I clear taped over all those score lines. You can't even tell. You guys don't even have to hot glue inside there if you don't want to. You want your tape to lay real nice and smooth just take and stick some CA foam safe glue down in the cracks. Just cover over it with clear scotch tape. So this is just going to be another one of our cool builds we did. Turned out tight. This is probably this will probably be one of my next builds I do for you guys. This is a 70 millimeter EDF jet. It's got thrust vector in behind the thrust vector nozzle. And it works good. See, there's my speed controller down in there. These canopies, I just pick them up at local ho hobby stores. This jet is a lot of fun to fly, you guys. guys thing turned out sweet I'll make sure when I do the flight video I'll show you how I hooked up all the electronics and stuff it's all pretty simple I just zip tie my thrust tube on there I'll go ahead and mount my servos with the control rods going to the control horns feed the wires in through the sides of the exhaust intakes or the air intakes <laughs> did 
definitely one cool looking jet. Really like the way it turned out. Alright you guys, I'll get back to you with a flight video, over and out.